Hey, this is uh, Trooper's friend Bill, Steam Handle, uh, Blue Skull. Uh, what I wanted to do uh, is do another computer showcase. Since uh, you did get a sneak peek of my computer last week uh, when we had our mini LAN party over at Trooper's house, uh, he kind of just did a, an overall quick view of my computer. Uh, what I'm going to do now is more like what Trooper did with his computer, just give you a, a good look at all the hardware that I have and, and all the uh, some of the modifications that I did to the, the computer case and the, and the computer in general. Uh, I'd like to start off, obviously it's, it's a lot different layout than I had before. If you remember, I had the uh, uh, Silverstone Raven uh, RV02. Um, and some of the hardware that I have has remained the same, but uh, I haven't made some, uh, some pretty big performance improvements. Um, starting off, uh, the, probably the biggest one, uh, I made the jump from the Core i7-920, uh, which at the time I had overclocked to 4 gigahertz. Uh, jumped up to the uh, Core i7-980X, uh, and right now I have it clocked at uh, 4.3 gigahertz. So not only do I have 12 cores versus 8, but it's also clocked higher, so that's a, that's a really big uh, performance improvement. The other big change that I made is uh, I jumped from uh, dual EVGA GTX 295 FTWs. Uh, I jumped up to the uh, EVGA GTX 480 FTWs, and some of you might wonder, well, you know, they're they're pretty similar in performance specs, uh, just side by side. But um, short story is, I had a uh, I had one of those cards fail, and I had some warranty issues uh, since I bought the card through eBay. Uh, so I had to bite the bullet and just buy two brand new cards. Uh, bought them straight from EVGA, so I won't ever have that warranty issue again. Uh, it's a lesson that I learned. Um, and it's uh, the other changes that I made really just simplified the build okay. overall. Um, while still as you can see, I'm running a um, much different case than last time. This is the uh, Mountain Mods Plateau. Uh, it's in uh, the mirror black finish. Um, one of my biggest differences from the previous case is I went down to three five and a quarter bay uh, slots as opposed to I think I had six or seven before. Um, I moved my hard drives out of hard drive coolers and put those inside. We'll see those in a minute. Um, and I had to get rid of one of my optical drives, so I stuck with the uh, my LG uh, Blu-ray and DVD HD DVD player. Um, coming up here, I still have the, uh, the X5 Fatality Champion. And then this is new. I got this from Truby. Uh, this is the, the Zelman fan controller. <coughs> now, I did make a change to it though. Um, if you look at it online, you can see that it's, it actually has a, a grayish color. And it actually says Zalman at the top and the uh, model number down below. What I did was um, I did a basic paint job on it, taped it up, uh, taped up the display, and just made it a, a gloss black so that it would match with the, uh, the rest of the case and the rest of the five and a quarter bay devices. Um, main reason I got that was to show my uh, my power consumption. I thought that was a, you know, I thought when Truby got that it was a nice touch. His computer was running way too much power for that thing so uh, we decided to, it'd probably be good to use in mine. Um, coming over here you can see uh, these are the same fans that are in Truby's build uh, except they're, I have the blue version as opposed to the red. Uh, they're still uh, Really good flowing fans, although, like Truby said, the uh, the fan blades don't completely get bathed in LED light. Mm. All you can see is just the uh, um, like the arc of the LED while the blades are spinning. Uh, that's one thing that I, I kind of would like to change, but uh, I haven't found any fans that are better right now. So, um, <clears throat> coming up here, the uh, the power reset switches. Now, the, the Mountain Mods case only comes with a, a spot for a power switch. Um, and the power switch is just a, uh, just a plain uh, aluminum, a brushed aluminum in color. I went ahead and got two vandal switches, one with the, the blue ring. Uh, this is uh, connected to obviously the power, and then the, the LED is coming off of uh, the power for the computer. The second vandal switch I have connected to my reset switch, and the light is actually connected to the uh, hard drive activity. So I thought that was uh, an interesting way to do it. So uh, below that you'll see I have a USB port and <clears throat> that was one thing that I had to 
pretty much mod uh, the case for. There was no spot to put a, a USB device in the front, so I actually had to drill out a hole, uh, dremel it out, and um, mount the USB uh, so that I could okay, know, have access just a big, to my thumb quick drive. A uh, shot of the back of the computer. You can see here the uh, the Zalman. You have to have um, a USB port on the back of the computer to plug the Zalman into. So I had to do the same thing to the back of the case by drilling out a hole and, and you know cleaning it up to make the uh, so the Zalman can connect in the back. You can see I also run uh, the quick disconnects. Uh, although it's very nice now that I don't have to con disconnect the 2K3U from my case in order to move it. I can just pick it up and go. But if I do want to change anything out, I can quickly, you know, um, disconnect these, and then I can drain it, uh, and I don't have to worry about that. Um, the uh, you'll see the back; you can kind of see the glow of it. We'll give you a better shot inside, but that's okay. a UV. Just a quick overview. Fan. Um, I do have just a few decals on it right now: Coolant IC Diamond, and I do have a an EVGA on top. I will be getting uh, an X58 3X SLI classified sticker, as well as an Nvidia and Core i7 sticker. Uh, those are all courtesy of Troopers Brand Derek at uh, martinfusion.com. So we're just going to take a quick look inside. Uh, if you remember last time, uh, I had water cooled everything inside. Uh, I had a motherboard and my, my physics card were also water cooled. What I did was I wanted to simplify everything, so got rid of the uh, water blocks for my motherboard. <clears throat> and when I got rid of the 285, um, the physics car that I have now, the 9800 GT, is just air cooled. Um, so it, it simplifies everything. The only thing that's water cooled are the, the really uh, important components, the CPU and the graphics cards. Um, cut down on my friction loss within the system tremendously. And um, I think it's an overall, I think it looks better because it's more simple. Uh, as you can see, the uh, right here, this is where the coolant comes in, goes uh, straight into the CPU water block. As Truby described, going into the center is really what you want to do. That's where the most of the heat is on the CPU. Uh, comes out of the CPU water block uh, up into my first card. Uh, and then, as opposed to having uh, the cool ants bit, uh, excuse me, cool ants fitting that is a three card slot, decided I wanted to have the tubing in the middle. It gives a little more uh, UV, uh, UV light inside the case. And then, as you see, it comes out of the second uh, water block and I have my temperature sensor on the inside of the case and then it leaves out and goes back to the 2K3U. Some might ask why I split my graphics cards. Um, I did that because in the future I might want to go to three 480s and their way I, did, I wouldn't have to worry about uh, cutting a new hole in my case and I can just move my physics card to the last slot on the motherboard, put the third 480 in the middle and have three-way SLI. Um, the other components in the case still pretty much the same. I still have the BFG EX1200 power supply. I still have the XFi. Uh, my memory has stayed the same. Um, but you can see I have this is the, um, the Blu-ray HD DVD. This is my XFi, and that's the Zalman. I also painted um, the case. The okay, last piece inside. Looking inside. Um, my two Velociraptors. Um, it was a good thing we decided that this case only comes with one set of brackets, uh, but I decided that you know, before I purchased it that I was going to get two and just have them side by side as opposed to stacked. And that ended up being a very good thing because when I started building the case, uh, the hard drives would not fit horizontal because they were starting they were running into the graphics cards. So after a couple of trials, figuring out how I was going to do it, the uh, idea came into my head that I would put them at a 45 degree angle. Um, that opened up a lot of space, allowed me to put the cards in, or put the hard drives in next to the cards, and uh, that's also where Truby got the idea to put his uh, SSD at an angle over his uh, uh, rear fan. So, also you can see, just real quick, the uh, the lighting inside the case is all UV. I did away with my UV blue light. Yeah, final note. Decided just uh, go. Just want to talk about build time. You know, Truby said he spent about 40 hours building his. Um, I spent probably about 20 hours on mine. And that makes sense because my computer is in many ways exactly half of his. Um, it took me, as I said, about 20 hours. I worked on it about 16 hours uh, a couple weeks ago on a Saturday and then finished up on a Sunday morning. It took me about four hours and then I had to go into installing the operating system and, and all that. 
but actual build time for the computer was about 20 hours, and that was a lot of figuring out, you know, trial and error, running wires, trying to figure out how I wanted everything to look. Um, I think I, you know, I spent a lot of time trying to make it look right. Uh, as you can see on the, you know, we saw on the power supply, everything's bundled up, so I just don't have wires hanging out everywhere. Uh, and I think, uh, I think that's a hallmark of, of a, a good build is that you look inside, you don't see a lot of wires, and uh, it looks clean. So thanks a lot for checking out my computer, and uh, in the future we might be some performance benchmarking. Um, see how close I can get to Truby's benchmarks with about half the half the uh, horsepower.